Hey, welcome back to Striving Artists. I'm your host, Arlene, and we are still here at the Burdock with Zainab Wilson. Hello! And um, before the break, you had talked to us about you know, tips for, for aspiring artists. Just get out there. And because you, you grew up with family of musical people, when was that time that you felt like, I'm going to go out there for myself? That was actually 2011, when I first started traveling. That was, that was the beginning of, um, of I, I feel like I've had a bunch of rebirths. Okay. <laughs> that was a, a rebirth into my, like, the self that I am mostly right now. Yeah. Um, I had a, a, a brutal break breakup, and it inspired me to want to go away. Right. And I was just like, oh, I want to finally go away and just like, just explore the world and the people around the world because people here suck. <laughs> and um, I went for six weeks with one of my high school besties. Right. Uh, people were like, you two are traveling together? Are you guys not going to rip your throats out? <laughs> like, no one thought that we could actually do this. And it was really good to go with someone who, like, we just worked so well together. Cool. We just did it or we didn't do it. And, right. Um, I never did jams in Toronto. Never did jams in Montreal. I left when I was about 20, and okay. I was living in the suburbs about 20 minutes from city center, Montreal. Yeah. So I never stayed late to go to jams, okay. even though my teacher would be like, say that, come, go jam. Like, how else are you going to learn how to do it? So right. he was the one that was putting that seat in. Um, uh, his name is Dave Lyon. He's amazing. Nice. And so when we went abroad, it's weird. It's a weird feeling. When I'm not at home, I feel more comfortable putting myself out. Oh. Yeah, it's it's interesting, because I feel I'm not going to, I don't know anybody, so it, right. I take that that message that Nelson gave, and I, and I expand on it, like, yeah. go further away, you don't know anybody there, Right. what does it matter, you know? That's true. And so the first jam I remember, I'm, maybe I did some other jams, was in London at Ronnie Scott's. Okay. So it's just big, this is a legendary jazz, mm -hmm. jazz venue, and uh, I went in, and you know, I use the female drummer thing to an extent, right? And I let people assess or you know have their opinions of whether I could play. They're like, oh, you can play drums? Yeah, I think so. And I get up and I just kill it. And they're like, oh, do you want to stay and play some more? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's what I came here for. Amazing. And uh, so that was the first jam I remember doing. And every time I go to London, I go to Ronnie Scott's nice. and I have a connection of people there. And yeah, that's that's just kind of how I, I I push myself out out there. And then when I when I came back or when I come back, I feel more. Yeah, I could do it here too. I think right. it's just because I know a lot of people here. Fish it. And when I when I started singing my own stuff, breaking that out out of the jazz scene. Yeah. Was was different because I went to a jazz school and right. everyone kind of did jazz mm -hmm. and did, do my own thing, which is completely different from it's, it's so far away from jazz. Right. Um, I, for me, felt a little, I, I was a little self-conscious about it, but I got over it, or I'm still getting over it, and I'm doing it more, which is yeah. the point. For sure. Yeah. So the more that you do it. The more you feel comfortable. Exactly. Cool. So um, after that realization in 2011, um, you've gone back yeah. to Europe, and, and then you, you've gone other places. You went to, did you go to Australia? I did. It was in uh, December. Uh -huh. I just gonna say the whole story because it's a beautiful story for me because I'm very spiritual as well and mm -hmm. I I I as of lately I've been leaving a lot of things to to the the world right. to help me as well like I put my part in and then the world puts its part in for sure. you know the space and so my friend uh, I met this girl and we bonded in eight months we had such a strong relationship and she was taken away from us <laughs> she passed away in March oh, uh, last year. She's Australian, and I was on a trip uh, just before coming back. So I got back about March 6, and she died about March 27. Wow. And we had made plans, loose plans, to go to Australia because she was also on a visa and she had to go. Right. And I was like, okay, let's go to Australia together. I want to go finally, let's do it. Mm -hmm. And um, so she, March was when she left, and October, which is her birthday month, I got a call from Alicia Brilla. And right. she's like, hey, or an email, hey, are you available to go to Australia? So I'm like, yes, big capital twice, uh, yes, I'm available, I really want to go. And 
December, we're in Australia. Awesome. So in under a year, you know, my work meeting, you oh know, how gosh. things align brought me to Australia. For sure. And it was actually a back-to-back -to -back tour. I came back for a week and then went off to the UK for another tour. It was amazing. It was such, I, I'm still, I feel so blessed and so lucky to have had that opportunity, mm -hmm. those opportunities, because I love traveling and I love playing music while I travel. Right. And I love meeting people from around the world, especially, you know, musicians, artists. Because I find when you meet people around the world, you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen when you meet people in the city. Definitely. But there's something a little bit like it's it's really cool when it just makes the world smaller when oh, for you meet sure, people yeah. from around the world and you somehow are connected even in your hometown so totally yeah it, and there's more of like um an acceptance i find like a more wel welcoming mm. when you're in a different country but you have that mutual friend that you know back home yeah um going back to that opportunity you got with alicia brillo who's amazing mm -hmm. talent juno nominee um how did how did that connection come about? Like, was it from, did she see you play? Did you guys meet up before or? That's actually another her? cute story. Um, never met her. Uh, she just heard of my name through the grapevine. Cool. She sent me a message um, in April, maybe mm -hmm. last, last year. Uh, she said, hey, I heard that you're a percussionist. You've been recommended by a bunch of people. Nice. And uh, I have this show. It was a really special show as well. Just talking about my experiences, it's really awesome. I need to write a book about this. Um, <laughs> so she said, uh, yeah, let's, I want to do the show. It was on May, May or June 2nd or something last year. Right. And we'd never met until the day of the show. No way. That's when we had our first rehearsal, our first meeting, and our first show. And it was a cool show. It was, for, it was a grade eight summit at um, U of T Mississauga. Okay. And it was for like female empowerment for these grade eights. Awesome. So after school, they go to this uh, this summit at like a weekend away. How okay. cool in a university setting. And we were their opening performance and speakers. Cool. Uh, and I thought, oh my God, this is so cool. And Alicia's vibes are so, like we just, we clicked. Yeah. And we even said it to the people at the show. We were like, we just met today. And so many girls and parents came up to us and they thought that we had been friends forever. Because right. we just had this chemistry. That's awesome. And this musical understanding as well. And I think that just, the more you play with people, the more, for me, the more I found that I, not that I could read people, but I'm more sensitive and right. I can adapt a little bit. For sure, yeah. A little bit more. Awesome. Um, with all this experience, so. That's so cool. Yeah. And you're still gigging as much as you are. Your journey is still growing and your successes are like plentiful and, mm, and they're coming. Right. Yeah, so, <laughs> but thank you so much for your time. Thank you. You guys better check her out. She's all over the place. Yeah. She's I actually showed up to a gig last week with the wrong instrument. Are you serious? Yeah. I showed up to a gig with a pan, with steel pan. But and I was supposed to be playing cajon. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, this doesn't happen often, but it's not the worst thing. That's so funny, because so. you've got so much under your belt. But yeah, you can check her out. She'll be playing with me at some point yeah. in the summer again. Probably many points. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, make sure you check her out online. She's on Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, follow us on Filipino TV on Facebook and Instagram. Follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching. We'll have you next week with another striving artist. Ooh.